On today's episode of Dapper Daniel. The full home is just gonna be in this simple white brick. And then there's bedrooms on both sides of the home. So we'll start on the right side when we're walking in. Now for the kitchen in here, they got this waterfall island. Over on the left side is where the fridge would go. And then up above, there's cabinets everywhere. And the garage is gonna be a two car, but there is a lot more room to still be able to fit like a shelving unit. Primary bedrooms got two windows. You got a tray ceiling in here. The vanities are split. So you got this one vanity, with drawers. Uh, so that makes sense. Howdy folks, welcome back to a video today. I'm starting to get the hang of this DJI. Apparently I can flip it back and forth. I didn't even know this on my last video, but like I can do this where it's like, tap it three times. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're getting to figure it out now. So on today's video, we're gonna be doing a home tour over a one acre lot over here in Caddo Creek Ranch. This whole neighborhood is fairly small, okay? It's one acre lot, it's not too big of a community. It's mostly all built out. They have a few lots kind of left open here and there within this little community, but there's probably about 20 homes within here. This one's gonna be a four bed, two and a half bath, 2,422 square feet. Listed at $560,000 at 231 per square foot. So we'll check out this one today. Let me put my phone in my pocket. Walk out here. Now, the first thing about these homes is that they're all gonna be on septic. So the septic is over there on the right side. Uh, sometimes it's in the back of the home, but this one uh, has it on the side yard. And then it's got the front driveway entrance where the garage is on the right side of the home. And then you can kind of see other neighbors around here have built out some other little small warehouses or workshops. So this would be a community where you could, you know, build or buy one of these pre-owned houses and then potentially still be able to build a little workshop on the backside. The full home is just gonna be in this simple white brick. And then it's got these brown columns matching with this brown door, this double wide door here. And then you got some space out here in the front porch to put out some other chairs, um, things to just kind of sit outside. Painted white above on the ceiling and then it's got a couple lights for the porch as well. So walking in, you got these double doors that open up. And then there's bedrooms on both sides of the home. So we'll start on the right side when we're walking in. So at the front of the house is gonna be the first bedroom. Just outside the bedroom are hallways that lead into the other rooms. This one in here is gonna have a window, ceiling heights go up about nine foot and then they've got a black fan installed. Majority of this house is gonna be white and it's gonna have some gray and black accents, kind of like with the handles on the doors. Within the closet, it's just one coat rack that's set up pretty high, but there's still a little bit of space to kind of be able to walk. It's not too crammed, uh, but it is a little bit tighter. Down the hallway is a closet in here, no coat rack. So I don't know if you'd really be able to store a lot of stuff. I'd like to see a coat rack at least, something you could hang up some, some stuff or maybe a couple more shelves because it's just got one shelf up there. Further down the hallway is the bathroom. So it's got black tiling, which not the biggest fan of. It does make it look all sleek and nice and pretty and modern, but uh, just keep in mind, black stuff is a little bit harder to clean. They did do the tiling all the way up to the top. This whole shower, rolls out like that with the door. There is a window up there. They did the grout lines in black to kind of match everything else in here. Countertop has some gray veining through it. Decent size vanity within here. This room, another bedroom going down, same type of deal, set up. Same type of closet, same painted doors, has the window on this side. This home is facing out towards the west. So the back of this home in the mornings is gonna get pretty good light with the east and the sun coming up and kind of hitting this back patio. On the further back side of the home is another bedroom. This back room is gonna get a lot more light into it just because of the sun and how, it, how it's hitting. It's about noon right now. This is how it's looking coming into this back side and then the closet, same thing as those other ones. Nothing's kind of changed there. And back here is where the rest of your land is. So I would say the only eyesore with this whole new construction is gonna be the power line on the back side, but everything else, you got a good amount of land. Now for the kitchen in here, they got this waterfall island, and I'll uh, show you guys on this side what it looks like towards the living room. So the living room, you can see it over there, you can see a bit of the back patio, and then you can see the backyard over here on the dining room section. This whole island 
has a few outlets, and then it also has some space underneath. You probably fit about four to five stools underneath there. They've got three pendant lights up above. Over on the left side is where the fridge would go, and then up above, there's cabinets everywhere. So I really like this touch that they did. They didn't just take the cabinets up pretty tall, but they actually took them all the way up to the ceiling, which kind of makes the ceiling heights in here look even taller, kind of the way it looks. Now, they did do matching base cabinets and the top painted in this gray color. This is the same gray color that's also painted on all of the uh, mudroom doors uh, within this house too. So it all kind of has this same theme throughout the home. And let me show you guys what the inside of a cabinet looks like. Within here, just three shelves. You probably use the top cabinets more for decoration since they have glass on them. And then the pantry in here, actually a decent sized step-in pantry. I can actually go further back in here. It is a little narrow, but it's got five shelves within. And I think, it's a, I think this is a good space for how big the home is as well. The appliances on here, they have GE for the dishwasher and then the microwave is right here. Oh, I think the microwave is one of those things. I think. I'm not going to open it. It's taped. This is a huge gas stove top with eight burners. I don't think I've seen this big. Now this one is more of a custom home, so you'll find these more on the one acre lots with like kind of these custom feels. The tiling on the backside kind of gives the impression that it's like glass and see-through. It kind of has like this metallic look to it and then it's lined with this black to also kind of match with the handles on the cabinets as well. I think that's the microwave. I might be wrong, but you got the oven down below. Unless the microwave is in one of these. Not too sure. And then they have the vent hood actually kind of hidden behind this here that matches all the way around. So that's the kitchen space. Dining room over here, good size, two windows looking out towards the backyard. And it's got this one chandelier coming down in black to also match with the pendant lights over there. This is now into the last space of the home. So at the front is gonna be the garage. And the garage is gonna be a two car, but there is a lot more room to still be able to fit like a shelving unit, um, even on that back space where that window is up there. The attic access is also within the garage and then it has a water heater. No tankless in here, but it does have that water heater within the garage. Stepping out from the garage is gonna be a mud room. This mud room has tile that also follows into the bathroom here. So this bathroom has a small vanity, but the vanity does have some doors on it, being able to open it up and put some storage in there. Black framed mirror, black lights up above, and then the rest is white in here. And then they still have it matching with gray with the doors. And maybe you're a fan of this tile. I do find that more people do like the tile features like this, not throughout the whole house. I think if this tile was even over here in the dining into the kitchen or maybe the living room, I think it'd be overkill, but it has some like small little touches here and there in these areas. It also is in the utility closet. So it kind of makes sense where they put these tile places in. I wish they would have done this white tile in that other bathroom instead of doing the full black tile in there. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? I wasn't the one building the house. But everything else is looking really nice within here. You also get the sink with this small storage space underneath. This is where your washer and dryer would go. You've got an electric hookup, and then you can walk into your closet from here too. So we'll actually go around the other way first. So this is into the primary bedroom. Primary bedroom's got two windows. You got a tray ceiling in here. Last but not least, your bathroom. So the bathroom's got a floating tub in it, uh, which, being this close to the wall, it's just gonna kind of be a pain to clean back in those areas. But they kind of changed some things up with this. So for the tub, they did black grout lines around the tub, but then everywhere else, they did white grout lines around the rest of the room here. So they did it black on this side, which I don't think is a huge deal, but it's just kind of a difference between the shower and that. Within the shower here, it does have a small niche in it. Got black shower handles, black shower head and then it's tiled all the way up with the kind of the bigger tiling to it, like it's down matching with the floor. And this all kind of flows together. Uh, lights, three lights up above. The vanities are split. So you got this one vanity with drawers that are soft closed, and then you got this other vanity, and both vanities are the same size. So one person wouldn't be getting a bigger one over the other, but I do like how they're split. And then you've got the toilet over on this corner too. And then it takes you back into the closet here. And then this closet's got a good amount of built outs in it. So you have four different built outs with like six shelves on it. And then you got closet rods up and up 
down and below so you can have an off season rack within here for this whole one story floor plan i feel like this is a little bit on the bigger side with more built-ins now that's kind of more because this home is a little bit custom uh, i think you still could fit one more closet rod up above two but I do think there's some good storage in here. That's gonna be the closet space there. I've walked all the rooms now, so that is gonna do it for this home. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that home tour and kind of what an acre lot looks like with new construction. If you guys have any questions about buying over in Levon, Texas, I know I haven't done a whole lot of videos around Levon or Rockwall, Texas, but I kind of want to start getting out to some areas that are a little bit more unique and not like these huge master plan communities, but also showing you kind of an other, the other side of Texas and what else we have to offer around here. So we do have acre lots like this where you can find a new construction home. This one is sitting at $560,000. So if you have any questions questions about this property or other properties around here buying on an acre please send me a text or give me a call I have all my information down below other than that peace out y'all and take it easy as always thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video I got more videos floating around here if you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area contact me Daniel at the home expert team I will be happy to answer any of your questions uh, besides that uh, bye